Hello everybody, and welcome to a new Let's Play. This is Mario Hoops 3 on 3 for the DS. For some reason, this is uh, one of the sports titles that was very not as popular as the others, I guess we'll say. Uh, it's pretty it's pretty out there in terms of gameplay as well, because it, it's basketball. It's not the thing you would expect from Mario, I guess. I mean, I guess if there's like, you know, baseball and tennis and stuff. Makes sense. Uh, the way this game works is a little different to ordinary basketball, but we're going to get into all of that once we actually get into the game. For now, let's go over how we're actually going to conduct the series. So first off, you're going to see four different modes here. Challenges, tourney, exhibition, and matchup. We're going to be going over all of these. And if you've watched my Mario Tennis uh, Ultra Smash Let's Play, then you know kind of how this Let's Play is going to go. Basically, I want to unlock everything in the Let's Play, and uh, I'm like, to be honest, I'm not sure how that's gonna go because there's a lot of things to unlock in this: characters, stages, balls, alternate costumes. You name it, it's probably an unlockable thing. So uh, this might take a while, and it's probably going to be incredibly difficult. But we're gonna get through this, and uh, basically, we're going to start out in this episode on tourney mode. Challenges, although it says first timers, that's usually where you want to go if you haven't played the game before because when it says challenges, it really means like tutorials and stuff. We're going to go over that at a later date because it's kind of weird and not really the game itself. Also, one thing I really have to praise about this game, the soundtrack is absolutely amazing. And they even actually released a CD version of it all so you didn't have to listen to like the slightly like pixelated versions of the DS there's some great sounds or some great song sounds uh, so we have our choice of a couple of characters here this isn't even like half of the characters you normally get to choose from there's a lot of unlockables uh, let's go with our, our our good true and trusted Yoshi uh, which is actually an all uh, all-around character in this game not speed we're gonna grab Diddy for a speed character, and Bowser Jr. speedy, technical, powerful. Let's go with a technical character in Peach, I suppose. We'll go with all heroes for now, I guess, if Diddy's a hero. I mean, there really isn't a game he's been not a hero. So the way the tourney is gonna work is similar to pretty much any other tourney in any other sports game. You face off against teams in a bracket, and whoever gets to the top wins. First, we're going against Mario, Bowser Jr., and Daisy. Oh boy, so these first stadiums that we're going to be playing in, courts I should guess I should call them, aren't going to be very special, they're just generic court. It doesn't get into the gimmicks until later on. So, this is going to be a lot to explain. Basically, I can do whatever I want for this game, really. They're not going to try and attack anything. So, while we have the ball here, we actually tap on the screen to dribble. And uh, you can dribble ahead of you to run faster. If you dribble behind you, you'll run slower. Press, uh, swipe up on the on the bottom screen, and you'll do a shoot. If you're running at the, jeez, everyone's trying to do random things here. If you run at the basket and swipe up, you will do a grand uh, grand slam. Jesus, this is showing how much I know about sports. I don't know any of the terms for these really. Uh, you do a slam dunk. Whenever you score, the opponent gets the ball and you're on defense. I was going to show that you can grab items. Here we go. And you can slide to or slide on the bottom screen to use the item. You can swipe downwards to try and steal the ball. You have to actually touch the... Wow, bang shot. You actually have to touch the ball to steal it, not just the character. Of course, the coins, as you can probably see, is what... Wow is what decides your score in this game. Whenever you score a basket, depending on what kind of score you make, uh, it'll give you a certain amount of coins. If it's like a three-pointer, you get 30 coins, I believe. You can hold down and charge up and then swipe up for a more accurate shot, and it still didn't go in. You can go for an alley-oop, but here we go. That's an alley-oop. I mean, it's your own alley-oop, but it's an alley-oop nonetheless. So you can do that. And uh, I should say what the main goal of all of these games is going to be. All these matches, I guess I should call them. I want to get at least 200 points more than the opponent in every one of these matches. That's going to allow us to get the best rank at the end of the tournament. It's similar to like the 1-star, 2-star, 3-star in Mario Kart. It's 
very similar to that. So as long as we do that, we'll be fine. Also, I should mention the maximum amount of coins that you can grind up to here is 100, and that will be added on to whatever you do for your goal. So say I do this, you can also like hold it for a while and then put it in to get a couple of extra coins. Usually it's not worth it because it's pretty risky. They can actually block you when you're going in for the, for the slam dunk, so it's not usually the best course of action, but of course, we basically have, like, a freebie game here to explain everything. And there's one more thing that you can do, and it's called a special shot. Basically, it'll almost always go in. I believe Yoshi's is doing an M here. Yeah, you just pre like, you tap in an M, an M shape on the bottom screen, and it'll do his special. If you're close enough, you'll just throw it in. If you're not close enough, a, a partner will actually put it in an alley-oop for you. However, they can be blocked by the opponent, so that is a bit more risky than just throwing it in yourself. So keep that in mind. And each character does have a different shape for their special. Yoshi's is an M, Mario's is an M. Uh, I think I think Luigi's is actually an M. Well, that might be an L. I don't know. Wario's is a W. I think... I want to say Peach's is a triangle because it, it's kind of like a heart shape. They're not gonna do anything. There's no need to worry here. And that kind of covers the basics. Everything that I didn't cover in this match is kind of uh, a bit... Wait, oh yeah, we have the we have the second period. Gosh, I'm miss, missing things already. All right, so let's go over some of the more uh, technical commands, I guess. As you can see, Mario is blocking there that you do that by holding down on the screen. That will prevent the opponent from walking through you. Also, if they try to shoot the ball and it hits their your block, it'll just get blocked. That's one thing you can do here. Now that we're going to be on defense, I can show a bit more here. You can slide up to jump and slide up and down to do a ground pound, which will basically knock the ball out of their hand. They didn't. They did not. They did. Okay. And I couldn't grab it. Yeah, it's it's a little it's a little picky on where you have to be to grab the ball when it's already going in. So be aware of that. But as long as we're up, up by uh, 200, it doesn't really matter. Uh, what else is there? I guess you can pass by sliding to the left or right. That'll automatically pass to a partner. And you can do that to really get away, I suppose. That's how I usually use it. Or if someone's closer to a, to a question mark block, you can do that. Red coins are worth five. One coin is worth... Your yellow coins is worth one. Yo, this guy's getting, like actually competent. Get out of here. You can see he's doing those dodges. I don't do those much because, I mean, they juke, but they don't juke the computer out, really. They just juke a human player out. But, uh, we're on defense now. Uh, what can I do? What else is there? I guess I can show off blocking. And once you block for a certain amount of time, it turns red. That will always b steal the ball from the opponent. Oh, this dude. Okay, what I did there is if you're on defense and you slide upwards twice, you can actually do a block where you knock the opponent out of the air. And that's what a crown pound hitting you looks like, I suppose. This boy's going straight? Oh my god, I tripped over my own thing. Boy, get out of here. Oh, there's a bomb, jeez. Yeah, most of the items are just taken from uh, Mario Kart, as you can notice. And there's also, for unlocks, basically bron getting a bronze unlocks something, silver unlocks something, gold unlocks something. Which is, like I said, uh, the reason why I want to get 200 points more than the opponent, because that will allow me to get gold. Uh, just beating all of the opponents, winning the tournament gets you bronze. Getting 100 points more than all of your enemies gets you a silver. And, of course, that's not what I want. Getting the gold in this first one's going to be super easy. It's probably the easiest thing in the game. Which is why I'm going to be doing some extra challenges, because I need to do them to unlock something. One of these challenges is only making charge shot goals or I guess charge shot scores uh, from the three-point line. So you can't be... Can I have the ball? You can't be within this line. And every time I want to score, I have to charge up and shoot and hope that it gets in. And that's on top of having to get 200 more points than the opponent. But you'll see that we actually get 30 coins just, like, off the bat for doing a three-pointer. So that's not, that's not too terribly hard, I suppose. And once again, I want to do these challenges as soon as possible because uh, the easier it is, the better. 
and that's actually one of the very few challenges that you could do in any tournament you want and you're not held by like doing it in a certain court because there are challenges that are court specific and you can of course oh wow that was much bigger than I thought it was gonna be you can move the ball pretty much wherever you want when you're charging up so you can like try to make them not be able to get it oh wow that wasn't even close and then I got hit by the ball or the Koopa shell that's okay we win so hopefully that was coherent enough to where you understood most of what I said because I had to go pretty fast there to explain things we did of course win by quite a few points so that's not a problem I have a cheat sheet here showing me all the unlocks if I could find it that'd be great here it is so uh, yeah in this in this cup we just need to win on by only using charge shots from the three-point line and that will unlock something special for us it's also notable that only you only have three matches in each of these tourneys as opposed to uh, Tennis, where you have four, I believe. I don't even remember. Anyway, now we're playing against Paratroopa, Waluigi, and Donkey Kong. Paratroopa is actually a character we have not unlocked yet, so that's interesting. So once again, really? Get out of here. It's not hard to steal from the opponent in this one. I want to just get a bunch of coins and do some three-pointer shots. I'm not sure... Oh, he's ground pounding. That'll, that'll definitely knock it out of me. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to do special shots because uh, uh, it's not a charge shot per se. So not sure if that would be accepted. Dude, can you like, he's not even getting coins. He's just like running around being like, yeah, this is okay. Did he grab that bomb? I don't think he did. Waluigi get off. Ugh, they're jumping at the perfect time. That's one thing about the, the AI is they know the exact time to jump for pretty much all of the blocks this dude so that can be a little finicky i think we're good dk is not even trying to stop us so we got a free point there so that's going good this is probably the only time you're going to see me doing a challenge this weird because there's not really any other challenges that stop you from scoring whatever you way, way you want there is one where you have to do three slam dunks but it's on a course that's a little that's a little different, so uh, you'll see why we'll have to get those three slam dunks. And in it goes. Easy as that. Oh! Yeah, I don't want to alley-oop it either. Dude, I don't want to alley-oop it either because that would uh, not be a three-pointer, I don't think. Not sure if that would count. You also have to focus about getting all these coins. And it will dribble as fast as you tap on that screen, as you can see, so go, f like, just go crazy. Who cares? What's that? Oh yeah, this this uh this court has uh people shooting at you from the ships in the background. So that's a little scary. Also, one thing you can do is a quick pivot, tap in a direction, and go in that direction, and it'll let you like dash that way. Waluigi's nowhere near, and now he is. I don't think I can get out of a charge. It's not letting me. Is he just, he just, he just shot from there, just like gung-ho, from the middle. Jesus. That's okay. Donkey Kong's nowhere near. Free point. And that uh, should get us near to our 200 point goal. Uh, yeah, we're at 180. Just one more score and we basically have it. No matter what, because we do get those 30 points. Yeah, I saw that coming from a mile away. Yeah, it's like... It's a completely different game if you're playing against humans, of course, because they can predict your movement, whereas AI just have to react, really. Oh, time's up. Okay. Not sure if you keep your coins between rounds. Huh. Oh. When you get into harder difficulties, you'll probably just want to, like, ground pound or maybe swing in the air for that beginning part, because more often than not, the opponent will get the ball and you won't. Dang, there are like no question mark blocks on this. But I will grab them just to get as far ahead as I can. Uh, what else is there that I haven't really explained yet? Uh, What does down do? Oh, that does a little tackle. Oh, I don't think I've ever actually tried that. Guess you can't tackle a guy that's blocking. <laughs> I don't really know what that does, to be completely honest. Koopa Paratroopa! 
tripping over a banana, giving us a free score. Easy as that. Yeah, I think I've really uh, explained most of the things about this game that apply to all the courts, of course. There is a gimmick in almost every single court. And some of them are pretty extreme, to the point of almost being like a completely luck-based court. Uh, there's one in, I want to say, the Star Cup. Oh yeah, okay, so you can pass from uh, charging, so that's good. Nope! Uh, okay, it went in. I didn't want to mess with it, because I don't want to accidentally, like, you know, s score an alley-oop. I'm not sure if it's actually called an alley-oop, if you're actually slam-dunking your own shot. It is if it's another person slam-dunking your shot. Oh, that's, that's a score. Luckily, we're at 354 points, so it hardly matters, but still. Kind of, uh, kind of sucks, because I, I didn't perfect him. Not sure if there's actually a challenge that requires you to get a perfect game. Wouldn't know about that one. Yo, Yoshi. You can also, like, if you're close up, just pass to someone and they'll be able to make a, make a shot quicker than you can. Oh, wow. That's not how balls bounce game. Oop, they're trying to hit us again. Nope. Oh, he just threw that nowhere. And as far as I can tell, like, the actual, like, like, uh, Diddy Kong is a speedy character. He does run slightly faster with the ball, but for the most part, it kind of doesn't matter. Jesus, that bounced there for like an hour. Uh, but like, I'm not really sure what being a power character gives you. I think it might make your block stronger or something. Maybe it turns red quicker. Come on, Peach, get it. Oh, and you can also switch characters when you're on offense, but I'm not going to... Or when you're on defense, but of course I'm not on defense. Yo, these balls are not going in. Oh, yeah, and the computer will pretty much always try to make a shot from across the court if there's not enough time to run down the court, so that's kind of funny sometimes. I've never seen a shot that's beyond half court make it in. Not even a charge shot. Uh, of course, like, a special shot can. A special shot is guaranteed to make it in unless the opponents do something to stop it. That's the thing. Alright. Oh, wow. Well, yeah, we already got it. I, I thought it would uh, unlock at the end of the tournament, but no. Uh, our prize for that was a new ball color. Uh, normally it says exactly what the color is, but uh, whatever. There's a ton of different balls. I think like somewhere around 40, 40 different kinds of balls. It's fun. So now our only goal right now is to win. So this ought to be a bit more interesting now that we can slam dunk and whatnot. And use our specials for that matter. Yeah, as you can see, the the opponent's already starting to juke me out with that. Or beat me to it. Alright, and once we get onto defense, I can show you the switching characters. I believe it's holding down L. And then swiping left or right. Oop! That's gonna be big. Alright, don't want to pass to Diddy Kong because he can't do anything. Let's go ahead and do a special. And uh, you will throw it in yourself if you are if you are inside of the three-point line. Otherwise, someone else alley-oops it. And it gives you 40 coins, which is more than really any other form of making it in will give you, so... It's pretty worth it. Although you're rarely going to see yourself getting it in if uh, you're on some of the harder difficulties. They'll stop you from doing that special. Like I said, this is really just like a tutorial in itself. It's not hard at all. They'll 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 steal the ball from you and then run away from the ball. Oh, this level has cheap cheeps flying at you. Want to avoid them at all costs. Luigi, what, bro? How do you hit? How do you hit me with that? I ran straight into that. Oh, okay. Uh, here, let's do this. Huh? Free coins. And fly guys just standing there, just wiggling around. I believe they can't block you while you're doing your spin, but if they time it right, once you str like start to slam the ball in, that's when they can get you. Huh. He didn't run into it. Here, we got a Koopa. Get out. Oh, nope. There we go. As you can see, we didn't actually hit him until he tried to get the ball in. Oh, he's going to hit us with that. Throw it, dude. I'm not standing. Oh, okay. 
Two of them had one. Dude, get out of here. I'm trying to pass the ball. Look at the fly guy there. He stands there and watches it. Oh, I didn't even show off anything on defense. Whatever. Let's make it in. I don't actually know Diddy Kong's special move, so... Pardon me if I don't use his. I believe I know Peach's, though, so I can try out hers. Anyway, let's see if I can uh, switch here, if I remember. L? Yeah, L and swipe. You can, of course, just press L to go to, like, the next character in the rotation. But it's better if you press L and swipe, just so you know which character you're going to go to. Yo, get blown up. No! Oh my god, my own character's moving me out of the way! Oh, that was lucky. That was pure lucky. I mean, we are winning by, like, a ton of points, so what does it matter? So, triangle? Yeah, there we go. And in it goes. And you can also cancel it by not completing the motion, but there's rarely a reason to do that unless you're juking off. Or <laughs> juking off? Ooh, that didn't sound quite, well, quite right. If, if you're jerking, ju juking, I'm messing up the words. Juking out a human player. Otherwise, there's not really a reason to do it. Jeez. Usually I do ground pound to get the ball out of their hands because it's more reliable. Unless, of course, they move out of the way, which they often don't, so that's why I usually do that. So watch this. Jump, spin. Nope, or not. <laughs> I can just throw the ball and completely whiff. Uh, is Luigi gonna throw that? I don't... Okay. Sometimes a poison mushroom can come out of the <laughs> question mark blocks. Kinda sucks when it does. You probably want to pass it over. If I could ever pass... Get out of here. Get out of here. I was about to ground pound, and I'll take all of your coins as well. And you know what? Let's go in. The free coins. The free coins. If you're wondering exactly how you do that, like, that, like, uh, slam dunk thing where you keep getting coins, you swipe up twice and then keep spinning on the bottom screen, making a spinning motion with the stylus. That's how you do that. That's one of the things they don't really explain in the tutorial. They do if you get into, like, the advanced stuff, though. That's the problem. I'll take that. Thank you very much. But, like, if you do the basics, you're not going to be equipped for anything past the flower cup. So, it, it picks up pretty quickly. Like, it's not hard to win Star and Rainbow Cup, and that's what they are. But it's, it's hard to get the gold, is what I'm... I really mean here. Anyway, I'll take that. Oh, he can hit you while you're still doing the spin. Okay. Sometimes, I think it might be with, like, the tricky characters. Sometimes it doesn't... Really? I missed? That's weird. That's not something you see all, a lot. I think if you're playing with tricky characters like uh, Paratroopa or Fly Guy, they can't do it. I don't know. There's a lot of intricacies to, like, those kind of things. Yo, eat a bomb. Dude? Dude? Also, just so I mention it, you do a ground pound by going up and down. Dude, I'm right on you. How are you not losing the ball? Get out of here. He was just double hit. Except, no, he wasn't, because I got hit by the shell. Jeez. Y'all playing like y'all have a chance. It's 500 to zero. I would try to show off a perfect score, but with me trying to do these challenges and talking at the same time, it's not very likely. Not gonna lie. Anyway, that is another 82 points. I believe that will call it. Well, we have 43 seconds left. That's enough to get another score on him. Oh, hey, eat that. Or it can just miss. Sure. Uh, let's see if we can't... If we can't figure out Diddy's. So I'm gonna try a triangle. No. M. Oh, I lost the ball. Sometimes when I'm just tapping to try and, like, get the thing, I don't notice I've lost the ball. Yo. Okay. Also, if you pick up items while you have the ball, you'll, they'll just turn into one coin. Uh, M. Oh, it's actually an M. Yeah, like I said, sometimes it doesn't make sense, but it, it still works anyway. You can see all of them from the challenges menu, oddly enough. After you do all the tutorials, it'll tell you what they all are. So, if you're wondering what they are. But there's just like a, like five different patterns that they choose from, so it's not impossible to figure out. Anyway, that's the game. Easy win. GG.
that gives us the cup, and I believe we should be able to, we should get the golden trophy from that, which unlocks a ton of things, in fact, to the award ceremony. Very nice, and I like the I like the way the tournament is laid out. If you lose, you hit like an actual block. If you win, it's a breakable block. That's kind of cool. Yeah, we got the gold trophy there. So that's sweet. A nice little animation there on top. Also, if I, if I hadn't noticed, haven't mentioned it, this game's made by Square Enix. So uh, that's interesting. So we got Paratrooper from the character selection. What actually was that for? Like, I know who we get from doing what. The bronze is for the paratrooper award. Getting silver gives you the peach costume. And getting gold gives you a new ball color, which I'll actually go ahead and show off right now. Won't go on to the next tourney right now. So to look at the ball colors, you go into your little thing on the side here. <laughs> yes, I am using my brother's account for this as well because I can't use my own because there's actually no way to erase your data which is funny. Anyway, we can change the ball from here, I believe, or maybe not. Uh, was it in the other menu? The settings. It probably was. Profile, edit. Yeah, that's how we do it. And we can edit the ball. And as you can see, uh, the tricolor ball that we got there, the America ball, if you will, uh, is what we got for doing the little challenge. And the watermelon ball is what we got for actually beating the game, on, or beating the mushroom cup on on uh with, with gold basically and i believe your rank here i don't know what exactly determines how many points you got i think judging by the fact that it's 600 it might be based on how much you beat the opponent by but only up to 200 which is of course like the the uh threshold for getting gold so i guess that would make sense and uh, getting certain point numbers will also unlock certain things for you. And uh, just to uh, wonder, I'm thinking about if I should show off the extra, the extra costumes in this episode or not. I think we can pass on that for now. We'll do it. We'll show it off in the next episode. Anyway, that'll do it for the first episode of Mario Hoops Three on Three. For the next one, we'll check out the challenges just to see what they have to show us. So I'll see you all then, and goodbye.